on she took tars off of Nessa say, eh, Sylvia, you not go wise. You not go wise. This one a Nigeria. You need to shine your eye. If not, they go they cheat you. I was like, oh, what should I? He said, and you left there without telling the woman to give you your chain. I said, I can't be arguing with Tana. She owns the salon, and she said, I price this one tars off. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, you are highly welcome. My name is Sibia. I'm a YouTuber based in Nigeria. As for my amazing returnees, thanks for always stopping by to support your girl and happy Sunday to you all. Yes, guys, today is 3rd of March, month of March forward. I wish you all happy Sunday and happy new month. In this video, I will be sharing my experience with you all as a returnee from abroad to Nigeria. Yes, bros, what Nigerians did to me like they show me shake as a newly returning into the country gosh if someone had told me that i will experience all those things after spending a long time abroad i would say it's a lie but yes guys it's happened to me live and direct so if you know you are someone that have been away for a very long time and you are moving in like not coming into the country for just visits and you go back after one more two weeks no no not that kind of you know coming back but if you are moving back to nigeria as a nigeria that have been away shy your eye because hey nigerians can't be truthful we can't be truthful to ourselves quote me anywhere i will tell you that was the fact yes guys because the things that i experienced in the ends of nigerians both young and old is just disheartening yes guys firstly i will share what happened on my way coming back from Lagos to my city, Worry. In case you don't know, I based in Worry. Yes, guy. So, the first thing that happened to me was when I booked a ticket from Lagos to Worry. Mind you, I use uh, this motor park, Libra Park. Yes, guys. I came in with a lot of luggages. My sister, you know, also came in with luggages and all that. We had to use bus to Delta States. Yes, we bought a ticket that is supposed to be 15,000. They took 22,000 from us, saying that it's going to be a C bus. And we paid. We paid for extra two seats, making it four seats that we paid for 22,000 times four. Just imagine that giving you 88,000 naira. And at the end of it all, they only gave us one seat instead of the two seats we paid for for our luggage after they took one one each into the boots and the remaining one we had to pay for them so guys when the vehicle was about taking off my sister was like my sister is this talky type but why me i'm this well reserved type i don't talk much yes even if i'm being oppressed sometimes i will just talk and you know pass or just find a way around it but my sister is a no no nonsense person so that is how we started arguing with the bus driver and all everything but later on we just let it slice because there is nothing we can do the money is not paid to the bus driver directly we pay the money to those uh, ticket seller and we can't just be attacking the bus driver is only carrying out instruction give it to him by his boss and that is how we lost twenty two thousand naira, and we still suffer suffocation no ac nothing in that bus yes guys so my experience again is similar to this guys it's just all about money 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 in this country yes guys in case you don't know i'm into provision i sell a uh, carton of asho bitter or the anything provision carton of indomie crate of minerals and all those things so my first time going to market nupe here in budu market to buy this asho bitter and all those things in you know larger quantity i had to book a cab from there to my place that would take the the things i bought and also keke guys they cut off my neck a place that they normally carry for three thousand to three five with your load they charge me five thousand and someone that just came into the country newly i don't know looking at the things i bought i thought okay ah it's even cheaper i paid so floating the load my big brother came and he asked how much did you pay this driver that dropped the load i said it's five thousand my brother started attacking the man like why are you people like this you know that normally this thing is two thousand uh, three thousand or three five ah yes i said brother please just let him be is it not more five i thought by then my problem will end for where in the end 
going out again to buy things for house, they still cheat me. Even if I buy fish, they will cheat me. Sometimes I will forget my change for them, and those people will not even bother to call you by that. Ah, madam, or your change. They will think that, okay, today is just a blessed day for them. God has blessed them. This person forgot a change. My dear, this is not blessing. This is cause. If you are this set of people that don't call people back when they buy something from you and they forgot their change, 300, 500, you just think that, okay, it is blessing. It is not blessing. Change your way. That is you incurring causes to yourself. Yes, because these things you see as blessing are set back. But the one that got me really annoyed is the one that happened at Agbo. Yes, I booked a ticket. I bought the ticket from the terminal there, Agbo to Ujewu here, which is 2,500 naira for train. So I gave this lady 3,000 naira. After selling the ticket, I realized that I didn't get to take my change from her. So I went back two minutes later. I was just holding the ticket in my hand. I said, ah, my change, 500. I gave her 1,000 notes, three pieces. So I went back to her. She said, no, she gave me change. She didn't forget her change. I said, madam, I forgot my change with you. Mind you, this time around, guys, your girl is already wising up. I don't forget my change anymore for them. So I went back to this lady. I said, please give me my change or you can check your CCTV camera. See, guys, I wanted to create a scene out of 500 now. Then later she said, eh, it's true. Eh, take your chain. I said, uh -uh. why are we like this? Why are Nigerians like this? You, are, you guys are the ones bringing bad names to Nigeria because we still have good Nigerians. And I'm one of them. Yes, I can't take your money that you did not give to me. Yes, I can't take your money by like this happier way that they took take money from people. So I started telling the woman that why are some of us like this? This is not nice. This is bringing bad names to us. You people take advantage of person. Know fully well that this person is your own. I am not white, so I am black. I don't know how they even managed to figure it out that I am a JJC. In case you don't know JJC, JJC means Johnny just come. Yes, guys. Then we just know that this person has been away for some time. Even if you are putting out rag, they will still manage to figure it out that this person has been away for quite some time and they will use that opportunity to take advantage of few. Yes, guys. Another thing that also happened to me, there was this faithful day. I and my sister were passing by. So we saw this saloon not too far from my house. So I told my sister, ah, ah there is saloon here. Maybe we'll come here and just get our nails done. So that day, I wanted to do just nail polish not gel, no more nail polish for my leg and hand. So my sister asked the lady, she said 200 for my hand, 200 for my leg. We said, okay, we will come back. So two days later, I went to the salon alone. So got, when I get there, this woman was busy with some other clients that like she's making her hair. So she said I should wait, that after the lady, she will attend to me. So that is how I started waiting for this woman for one hour, two hours. I said, no, madam, I can't wait anymore. I want to go. Or should I do it myself? So I started cleaning my nails. I clean my nails up. I apply the polish, remaining just the adna. So by then this woman is true. So she decided to just top it up for me with the adna. So after everything, I say, Madam, take your money. I gave her one thousand there. I'm waiting for my change. I said, give me change. Say no change. That is one thousand. I was like, eh? One thousand. Say, mind you guys, I'm not this confronted type. My friends and family, they know that I don't confront. Instead, I will just cut you off. Even if you are my friend and you are doing something wrong to me, I don't confront you. I will just overlook you until I'm fed up with that particular thing. And I will stop talking to you and you will be wondering, what happened? Why did this person just cut off for me? That is me. But hey, guys, I'm trying to work on that to, you know, to let it out when someone is doing something bad to me. So I went back home and I told my sister that, ah, that day, I told this woman, I told you it's uh, two, 200. How come she took tars off from me? I said, eh, Sylvia, you not go wise. You not go wise. This one in Nigeria, you need to shine your eye. If not, they go, they cheat you. I was like, oh, what should I? You say, and you left there without telling the woman to give you your change. I said, I can't be arguing with Tana. She owned the salon and she said, her price is 1,000. Trust my sister. She's a no nonsense person. The next day we were passing by, my sister Brown, she said, please give me 600 naira change for my sister. She came here yesterday. Why will you behave like that? After telling me it is uh, to 200 each and you took 600. This one I said, going left and right. And uh, trust me, she get shiny. She later returned the 600 to us. So why am I sharing this experience of mine with you guys? If you are someone coming into this country for the first time, or you've been away for a long time. My sister, shine your eye. 
Yes, guys, shut your eye. And the Nigerian note, guys, is confusing. The notes, eh? The Nigerian note is even the main problem I was cheated times without number. Yes, guys, I don't know how to differentiate 500 from 200. They have this way of making the notes look alike. Sometimes I want to give someone 200, I will end up giving 500. At the end, I will count the money with me. I will notice that 500 is missing. I will say, hey, this person, and they will not talk, or they will not even correct you or even call you for your chain. So if you know you've been away for quite some time, because back in Russia, we don't use notes. We don't carry notes, even if it is bottle water. I just use my card and pay. But yet in Nigeria, you have to carry notes. Trust me, it be yes. It be yes, I carry notes around so i am not used to it so that is one of the reason i was cheated times without number so please try to differentiate these notes and shine your eye shine your eye anywhere you are going show there that you are an aguero if you can't show there like me because me i can't be behaving like a tart when i'm not raised that way yes guys but nigerians they want you to behave like a tart for them not to cheat you to you know but if you are this cool cool trying to you know, behave like a jay, even though I'm not fully a jay, I'm an a jay, Marco, they will cheat you. So, if you are one of these Nigerians that cheat people of their hard earned money, repent because you people are bringing bad names to we good Nigerians. Yes, so I'm a good Nigerian. I don't cheat person. Yes, I will cheat you for any reason. Please repent. Yes, because <laughs> you will think that God is blessing you, God is not blessing you. That is a cause. Yes, you will just be seeing your life going backward. And you will be trying to, you know, think, what happened? What am I not doing right? It's because you have cheated someone. You don't know who is moving around with spirit that is so, <laughs> let me not say. So, if you are among those Nigerians that cheat person, please change from your way. And if you are coming into the country for the first time, shine your eye. Or you've been away for a very long time like me. Shine your eye. So, if this has ever happened to you before as a returning to the country, let me know in the comment section, guys. If you watch up up to now, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification if you are coming for the first time. And as for amazing returning, thank you all so much for always supporting this channel. I love and appreciate you guys. I will see you all on my next. Bye, guys.